uh, Claudia Cowan, Fox News Channel. Um, Mark Erigus, his defense seemed to be kind of going on the offense, going after the Modesto Police Department and trying to paint the detectives and investigators as having done some sort of a sloppy police investigation and ignoring leads in what he called a rush to judgment. And Detective Bocchini, I mean, you became a very controversial witness. And I'm wondering, you know, what now you can speak, what is your reaction to his tactic? And perhaps what would you say to him now? Well, I don't know what I'd say to him, but his, his tactic was effective. But what, what I didn't like about it was what was happening in court wasn't being what was reported on TV. And uh, it's devastating to come home or have, you know, one of your family members call you from out of state and think that you're going to get fired or you're going to get arrested or you're going to, you're a terrible detective when I knew I really didn't do anything wrong. I mean, it was all being spun wrong. I never got called a liar in court. I never was accused of being a perjurer in court. But I'd come out home and turn the TV on and I'd be, some guy would be saying I'm a vile little man and committed perjury over and over and over again. And so that's devastating. But as for a defense, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years almost now, and that's their job, and he did his job. I think I'd like to add to that. At no time did I, as the chief, have any qualms about Detective Brocchini, about his uh, standards of conduct, about the, the way he believes in doing what's right. I have total confidence in him. I did throughout this trial. I did throughout the investigation. He's a man that uh, were my family in need of a competent investigation. I would want Al Brocchini on the case, and uh, that's never changed or wavered. He, he came out on Christmas Eve. He left his family. He went to work. He did his job, and he did it in an outstanding fashion.